and try to march to press for voting rights. And the extraordinary thing was not the violence, it was not the protest effort. Activism of its kind had been seen in the United States um, for years, and, and especially in the months leading up to it. What was extraordinary is that the United States rebelled at the horror of the image of all of those people being so badly, badly mauled by authorities. Uh, they didn't make it across the bridge that day. They tried again two days later. They made it a little bit further. But by then, uh, opinions had been roused. The federal government in Washington had been roused. And Martin Luther King Jr., who was leading the protesters, wanted a third march, one that would make its way across the bridge with federal authorities intervening. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. President Lyndon Johnson lent Washington's help, the federal government's authority and help to the marchers. He protected them. And the march was able to go from Selma um, some 70, 80 kilometers to Montgomery. On that bridge today, some of the original marchers, John Lewis among them, who was then a young student activist, now uh, a distinguished member of the House of Representatives, the president, his wife, their two daughters. Um, I think we saw the uh, U.S. Uh, security, or rather, the uh, Susan Rice, uh, part of the security team in the Obama presidency, Valerie Jarrett, um, and, and basically the notable figures of, of Washington, of American public life, uh, roughly one-fifth of U.S. Congress is said to be in attendance today. Um, and, and really, to underscore it, look at that bridge. It's not really a remarkable bridge. It's, it's a bridge in a small town named, ironically enough, oddly enough, bizarrely enough, for a general in the Confederacy, a man who fought for slavery and who later became uh, the Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, uh, probably the most racist association ever associated with U.S. history. Edmund Pettus Bridge is still named after him, a sign, it said, uh, of the triumph over racism that those marchers made possible, a sign as well that um, even after all these years, it's just hard to change some things about Alabama, but a great deal has changed. A short time ago, we heard from Barack Obama before he began this walk across the bridge about how much has changed, about how the Voting Rights Act really uh, redefined the place of blacks in the South of the United States, changed the South of the United States, and paved the way for his election to the presidency. Um, you're seeing them in the distance, and you can get a sense of the bridge as you watch. The bridge arches a little bit as it leaves Selma and makes its way uh, across the Alabama River. And that was a crucial architectural fact that day because as the marchers set out, they didn't know what awaited them on the other side. They could not see all the armed men, all of the dogs. They had no sense of just how much suffering they would endure.